Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration. This week I'm making all hot lunches, and I'm challenging the kids to try something new every day, something they've never tried before. Good morning friends, and welcome to Monday. Let me show you what I packed for today's lunch. I started by giving the kids some SpaghettiOs, I was gonna feed these to the kids last week since it was Star Wars week, but I did it. I saved it for this week. And of course, the trick to keeping anything hot in a thermos for a long period of time is to preheat each thermos with some boiling water. So I fill them all up with boiling water while my pasta is heating up. And when it's ready, I dump out the water and get the pasta quickly into each thermos. Now to go along with this today, I'm also giving the kids some celery. Usually Monday is PB and J day, but since we're switching things up, we have a little bit of peanut butter here to dip the celery in, and that is it. Now on to the fruit. The fruit is very interesting today. We have some cantaloupe, which I know the kids like. We have pineapple, which I know the kids like, but then I am throwing in a tiny piece of fruit that they've never even seen before, and this is called dragon fruit, but it's like white with black little seeds and a sort of a reddish pink um, outside to it. And I've actually never had dragon fruit either, so we can all try it together. Now I am sending the kids with a couple extra snacks today, just in case this isn't enough. I didn't put a lot of spaghettios in here just in case they didn't like it. So I am doubling up on the snacks today. First I have a yogurt tube. And then I'm also giving the kids some of these fig bars. And this is in the raspberry flavor. So I think that's gonna be enough for them today. I do need to get their spoons in there. And I am gonna put an ice pack as well just to keep the, um, the yogurt cold. And that is it for today's lunch. And we'll see you after lunch. Hi guys, welcome back to Monday. So it's just about dinner time now and I'm just getting around to checking the lunches. I opened up Mackenzie's already and she did a really good job. What did you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. What did you think about the new kind of fruit? It looked pretty weird. But how did it taste? Really good. Did it taste like kiwi? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, was it sweet or was it a little bit tart? A little bit tart. Yeah. Okay, let's check in here. Oh, she ate all of her SpaghettiOs. Were they good? Yeah. And let's see, your peanut butter is gone. Very good, Mackenzie. Now let's ch check Jackson's. What do you think, Jack? I'm trying to look like the spaghetti. Did you eat them? There's not much left, but I didn't give him a whole lot. He left his fig bar, but at least it's not open, so we can save that for later. And he did eat his peanut butter, so pretty good. Let's check Lily's. Uh oh. Did you eat any of your spaghettios? Just one. Just one single spaghettio? You didn't like them? Uh huh, not really. You didn't eat your dragon fruit? Because it was a little, it tastes a little bit bad. <laughs> a little bit bad? Oh well, at least we tried. And she did eat some food. I'll try back tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Right now, I just have Mackenzie here helping me. Hi. What do you think of today's lunch, Mackenzie? It looks really good. So, do you know what the new item is today? No. Broccoli chips. Broccoli chips. I got them from Trader Joe's. They have some salt on there. Could be really tasty. So to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids some barbecue chicken. So I just took some leftover rotisserie meat from our dinner the other night, and I heated it up with some of our favorite barbecue sauce. And then I went ahead and got that into the thermos. Now I am out of regular bread today, so instead I'm giving the kids some leftover hot dog buns. So what you have to do, Mackenzie, is when you're ready to eat, you take your chicken out of your thermos, and then you're gonna fill up your bun with your barbecue chicken. Ooh. So it'll be a really fun sandwich that you get to make yourself. Now over in this corner, I have lots of grapes. We have green grapes and red grapes and black grapes. Which ones are your favorite? I like the purple ones. The purple ones, yeah. And then of course the broccoli chips like I was telling you about. And then I also have a really special drink. This is a whole milk peach yogurt smoothie. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. I think peach is their favorite flavor of yogurt, so I think they're really gonna like that. Does that look like enough? Mm -hmm. Lunch is over now. And here's what we eat. What did you think about the new item today, the broccoli oh, chips? Pretty good. pretty good. What did you think, Lily? It was super good. I know, I know Mackenzie was not a big fan, but she's not here right now to tell us. So, Let's take a quick look and see how you guys did today. I see that Mackenzie drank this. 
And she did not like her broccoli chips. But she did eat all of her, oh, there's a little bit of chicken left too. So maybe a little bit less for her next time. Now, Jackson, what did you think? It was pretty good, but I needed less too. You needed less too? Okay. I thought I was giving you the right amount, but next time. And he just has a couple of bites left, so pretty good. And Lily's, I see that her yogurt drink leaked a little bit in her bag, so that's not the best, but she did pretty well. I think she was the only one who really ate the broccoli chips. And let's see, she does have a little bit of chicken left too, so I'll definitely pack less next time. Lily, what was your favorite part? Um, the broccoli stuff, this yogurt drink, and everything. Okay guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Wednesday. Right now I just have Lily with me, say hello. Hello. So what do you think of today's lunch? Good. It looks really colorful. Today we are continuing the trying something new theme, and there's actually quite a few things new in this lunch. Starting with the main dish, I have some pot stickers, otherwise known as gyoza, and I get these at Trader Joe's. And these are the chicken and vegetable ones. Now they're fully cooked, so they're really quick. All I have to do is lightly brown them in some oil, and then I like to add some water to the pan and steam them. And then to keep them warm, I added them to our thermoses. And I just gave them two or three each, just in case they are not big fans of them, but we're gonna try them. Now Lily is very excited about this over here. What is this? Peas. It's edamame. What, how do you eat them? Um, I always feed them. You squeeze them, and what comes out? Um, a pot. A little bean, and then you eat it. Uh -huh. And these are actually lightly salted. I get these at Trader Joe's as well, and all I have to do is steam them up. The kids really like them. Now I am giving the kids a new dipping sauce to try with their gyoza, and it's this one from Trader Joe's. And it's basically soy sauce, rice, vinegar, sesame oil, and cilantro. It's kind of like a sweet and sour. What do you think, Lily? It's Are you gonna good. try the sauce? So you take this and you dip it into that and then you eat it. It's really yummy. Over in this corner, I also have something brand new that the kids have never tried. These are the sesame sticks. And it's basically a crunchy wheat stick coated with sesame seeds. So it's like a cracker, it's not sweet. And then over in this corner, I just put a little cutie. These just fit so perfectly over here and I made it really fun with the little eyes. It's looking at you. <laughs> Oh yes, and back over here I am giving the kids this little fruit pouch. This is the apple mango one, which is definitely their favorite. The mango makes it extra tasty. So that's everything for the lunch today. The kids are just gonna take their water. I do have to pack up everything into the lunch boxes and then after lunch. We'll show you what we ate. Good job. Okay guys, it's time to check the lunches. Right now I have both of my girls with me say hello. Hello. What are you doing right now, Lily? She's eating more of these, you guys. This is crazy. She loves edamame. She ate all the ones I gave her and then all of these, and then she's eating some right now. So you really like them, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and check Mackenzie's. How did it go, Mackenzie? Well, I don't really like dumplings. Oh, you only ate one and a half? Yeah. So that's not your favorite? Yeah. Okay, let's check in here. Looks like everything else is gone. Maybe two little edamames are left. And no, those are the peels. Oh, it's just the peels. Oh, good job. Okay, let's check Jackson's. Oh, he ate all of his. I know that he really likes them, so at least one of you likes them. And it looks like he put a sauce in there, so that's actually a good idea. Let's check in here. He ate everything. These are empty. Very good. Now Lily's, like I said, she ate all of her edamame, plus more. But she didn't eat her orange. What was wrong with the orange? Um, I just got distracted by these. <laughs> you were distracted by the edamame? Yeah. And let's check in here. <gasps> you ate them? Mm -hmm. You really liked them? That's great. Now this looks like it's full, but it's not. She has a thing about filling them up with air and putting them back. Were you trying to trick me? Uh -huh. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi guys, and welcome to Good job, Jackson. Right now, I only have him helping me. So what do you think of today's lunch? Does it look so colorful? Uh-huh. So today I made something a little bit different, something that one of you subscribers had suggested to us. What are in these furnaces? Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, okay. so 
I made some mac and cheese. This kind of mac and cheese, our favorite. And then I added some creamed corn into it. And then I put it into a dish, added a little bit more cheese, and baked it for about 10 minutes. To go along with our mac and cheese today, I have lots of fruit and veggies. Back in this corner, I have some celery and carrots. Over here, I have some grapes. We have green, red, and black grapes. And then I have a couple of cubes of watermelon. Oh yes, and in this cute little container, I have some ranch for the kids to dip their veggies in. I am ascending one more snack today, and it's these fig bars. I like to get a big box of these from Costco. And these ones are actually the apple cinnamon flavor. Jackson, what is your favorite flavor? I love the apple cinnamon. But they also make a really good raspberry, a blueberry one, and they even make a chocolate one. I think the chocolate one's my favorite. And today the kids are just gonna drink water. And after lunch, we'll show you what we ate. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. <laughs> right now I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here helping me say happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. Thursday. So let's go ahead and check the lunches. I'm not quite sure how you guys did. Starting with Mackenzie's. What do you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. <gasps> you ate it all? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Do you prefer that kind of mac and cheese or regular? And mac and cheese. Yeah, and you eat all of your fruit and vegetables. Excellent. What about Jackson? Jackson, what do you think? I liked it a little bit. You liked it a little bit? Well, he has a little bit left, but that's not too bad. And just a few grapes and a few little pieces of carrots. That's pretty good. And Lily, oh, she just left a few bites too. Lily, did you like it? It wasn't my favorite. No, but you did pretty well. But she did eat everything else. Good job, Lily. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy, happy Friday. Friday. So for today's lunch, we're sort of doing a breakfast theme. I often like to do that on Friday as a sort of a end of the school week. Right now I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here helping me. So what do you think of today's lunch? It looks really cool. Did you see the message on your banana? Uh-huh. What does it say? I love you. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You just take a toothpick and you draw a little bit on the outside and it, as it browns on the outside, it leaves a message but your banana on the inside is gonna stay really nice, so don't worry about that. It's delicious. So in the thermos today, I have something a little bit different. You've never tried this kind of oatmeal before, but it looks really good. And when I was making it, I could smell it, and it smells really good. This is the banana nut protein oatmeal. So, it tastes like banana bread. <gasps> you love banana bread. Yeah. It's super easy to pack oatmeal in the thermos. All I did was get the oatmeal inside, add some boiling hot water, stir it up, and get the lid on. Which reminds me, I definitely need to pack a spoon today. I can't forget that. Now, to go along with the oatmeal, I'm also giving the kids a little thing of shredded coconut. Do you guys like coconut on top of your oatmeal? Uh -huh. Bananas and coconut, I think it goes really well together. So you can open this up and shake this in and then eat it. We have these really cool little spoon fork combos. Sporks. Yeah, but this side actually has a little knife. So if you guys want to, you can cut, you can slice up your banana and stick it in your oatmeal. So it's kind of a DIY lunch. You guys love that. Now over in this corner, I just have a few pieces of cucumber. I only had a little bit left today, so I just used it up. And to make it fun, I use my little heart-shaped cookie cutter. Over here, I'm giving the kids half of a hard-boiled egg. Sometimes if I give them a whole egg, it's just too much. But not for me. You really like them, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm also including a yogurt tube today. These are all the strawberry flavor. And for snack today, I'm also giving the kids this new bar. We've never tried this before. This is the chewy granola bar with maple, oats, uh, millet, quinoa, and pumpkin seeds. So that looks really tasty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my lids on. I definitely don't want my coconut to spill out everywhere. And I am gonna put an ice pack in there today because of the yogurt. And we'll see you after lunch. lunch. Okay guys, now this usually happens at least one time during the week, but it's almost bedtime when we're just now checking the lunches. It's been a busy but fun day. Mackenzie got her hair cut and looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And Griffin had his first haircut too. Okay, so let's go ahead and check Mackenzie's first. Mackenzie has quite a lot of oatmeal left. What happened? It was really hot. It was really hot. And it was kind of hard. Oh, I didn't add enough water? Yeah. Oh. Uh, thanks to me too. Oh, see, I thought they didn't eat it because they didn't like it, but maybe I added, maybe I didn't add enough water. Okay, that makes more sense. But she ate everything else, so that's good. Let's see, Jackson. Did you eat any of the oatmeal? No, it was because it happened to the 
But you know, oh, thick oatmeal is okay. It still tastes fine. Okay. Next time you should eat it anyway. But you eat everything good. else. And Lily, this, oh, she ate some. She didn't eat all of it, but she ate some. But let's see. She left her cucumbers. Those look pretty gross now. And she did eat everything else. So she really likes to put the heart back in here, like as a puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that did look cool. Okay, well that wasn't the best today. I've packed oatmeal before, and it went it went better. But this was a different kind of oatmeal, so maybe it just needed more liquid. So we'll try again next time. And we'll see you next week. Okay friends, let me know in the comments down below, out of all of today's lunches, which one was your favorite? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you